everyone this is your Katna here so in this video we are going to see a problem from conformal mapping this problem we are given a line from z plane and this line maps to some figure in omega plane okay in this i got a circle which is nothing but the line in the z plane is changed to circle when it comes to omega plane so line changed to circle the line from z plane changed to circle. problem find the image of the line y minus x plus 1 equals to 0 under the mapping W equals to 1 by Z. Solution. We are given a line under transformation. Okay. So given line Y minus X plus 1 equals to 0. Consider it as equation 1. And transformation omega or w equals to 1 by z. Okay. We have w equals to u plus iv and z equals to x plus iy. Okay. Now we are going to replace W and Z in this transformation by U plus IV and X plus IY. Okay, now consider omega equals to 1 by Z. So this becomes U plus IV equals to 1 by X plus IY. You can also write it as x plus i y equals to 1 by u plus i v. Okay. Now we are going to rationalize the denominator. We have x plus i y equals to 1 by u plus i v. Right? So here we'll Rationalize the denominator by multiplying and dividing with u minus iv. So this equals to u minus iv by u plus iv into u minus iv. So this is of the form a plus b into a minus b. Which is equal to a square minus b square. Okay. So this is equal to u minus iv divided by u square minus iv whole square. So this is equal to u minus iv divided by u square minus i square v square. Since i square equals to minus 1. So you will get u minus iv by u square minus. Since i square is minus 1. So you will get minus of minus 1 into v. Okay. So this implies x plus iy equals to u minus iv divided by u square minus into minus plus v square. Okay. This implies x plus iy equals to u by u square plus v square minus i into v by 
u square plus b square. So you can write it as u by u square plus b square plus i into minus b by u square plus b square. Simply we are taking this minus inside the brackets. So you have x plus i by equals to these two terms, right? So now we are going to equate these two terms. Equating real and imaginary parts. If we equate real part, you have only x. If the terms are having i, then it will be imaginary part. Otherwise, we call it as real part, okay? So, here x equals to u by u square plus v square is your real part. And here you are having i. So, this will be, this part is imaginary part and this part is also imaginary part. So, you will get y equals to minus v by u square plus v square, okay? So, you get real part x equals to u by u square plus b square and imaginary part y equals to minus v by u square plus b square. Okay. So you are having x and y now. So now we can substitute this x and y values in equation 1. Okay. Therefore, x equals to u by u square plus v square and y equals to minus v by u square plus v square. Okay. So now we are going to apply the values in 1. Substitute x and y values in equation 1, we get, suppose we write the equation y minus x plus 1 equals to 0, which implies y. You are having y equals to minus v by u square plus v square minus x, u by u square plus v square plus 1 equals to 0. This implies minus b by u square plus b square minus u by u square plus v square plus 1 equals to 0. Now take the LCM, u square plus v square and the numerator you will get minus u minus, sorry, minus v minus u plus 1, u square plus v square which is equals to 0. Since you are having u square plus v square, u, plus, uh, u square plus v square in the two terms, if you take the LCM, and you are having 1. So 1 into u square plus v square is u square plus v square. Which is equals to 0, right? So this equals to u square plus v square minus u minus v equals to 0 into u square plus v square. We are taking this denominator to right hand side. So we will get 0 into u square plus v square which is equals to again. 0. Okay. 
you're having u square plus v square minus u minus b. So we can write it in the terms a minus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Okay. Since you're having u square and minus u, so you can write it as minus u into u into 2 into 1 by 2. 2 into 1 by 2 is again 1. So which remains the same, right? Plus b square minus you're having v. Again, you will include 2 into 1 by 2. Which is again 1. So 1 into V is V which remains the same. Okay. Again. We are going to add. Plus 1 by 2 whole square. Minus 1 by 2 whole square. Okay. Plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is again 1. See. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 0, right? Not 1. It is 0, right? Which remains the same. Okay? So, we'll include one more. 1 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 2 whole square minus 1 by 2 whole square which is equals to 0. Okay? To apply this formula, A minus B whole square. Okay. This implies u square minus 2 into u into 1 by 2. 2 into u into 1 by 2. Now I will take 1 1 by 2 whole square. So this. This one. Okay. Plus. Plus V square. Minus. 2 into V into 1 by 2. Again. I take one more. Plus 1 by 2 whole square. Okay. Now, I will write the remaining terms. Minus 1 by 2 whole square minus 1 by 2 whole square which is equals to 0. So, this is of the form a square minus 2 a b plus b square. And this is also of the form a square Minus 2ab plus b square. Right? So you can write it as u minus 1 by 2 whole square. Plus b minus 1 by 2 whole square. Minus this becomes 1 by 4. Minus 1 by 4 which is equals to 0. Okay? So if you take minus common from these two terms you will get. The first two terms remain the same. So, if you take minus common from these two terms, you'll get minus of 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. Okay. One by four plus one by four. So now take calcium, you'll get four. The numerator one plus one. So this equals to 2 by 4. So finally you will get 1 by 2. So 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 by 2. So you will get minus 1 by 2. Okay. This implies u minus 1 by 2 whole square plus v minus 1 by 2 whole square. Now I'll take this 1 by 2 to right hand side since you are having minus. So if it goes to right hand side you will get 1 by 2. 
Okay. So I will write this 1 by 2 as 1 by root 2 whole square. So this equals to 1 by root 2 whole square. So the square and root gets cancelled. So finally you will get 2 which remains the same, right? We will write in the next step. So this implies u minus 1 by 2 whole square plus v minus 1 by 2 whole square equals to 1 by root 2 whole square which is of the form x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square which is the equation of the circle with center h, k and radius r. Okay, so this is a circle with center 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 and radius 1 by root 2. Okay, therefore u minus 1 by 2 whole square plus v minus 1 by 2 whole square equals to 1 by root 2 whole square. Which is a circle with center 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 and radius 1 by root 2. This completes the problem. Okay. So we have seen a problem from conformal mapping. Hope you will understand. And I am going to drop a link of this lecture notes. That is lecture notes of conformal mapping in the description box. You can go and check it. Okay. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.